Martin Israel is the 2018 Arts and Sciences Dean's Medalist. He grew up in Chicago and has worked on some of the world's most successful studies of the composition of galactic cosmic rays. But before he became a professor, a dean, and a vice chancellor at Washington University, he had a regular student job like the rest of us, giving tours at Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry. I took tours through the U-505 submarine. I also worked in the physics exhibit, demonstrating things to visitors about stroboscopic light and induction furnace. And then I worked occasionally in the IBM exhibit where we showed an IBM card punch machine and an IBM card sorter machine. In fact, one day when her Majesty Queen Elizabeth was touring the city of Chicago. I was given, I think, a minute and 30 seconds to explain the exhibit to Her Majesty. So that was an unusual opportunity. As a graduate student, I was involved in cosmic ray experiments on high altitude balloons. At the Balloon Center in Palestine, Texas, we flew an instrument that I had worked on and while I was there, I met a group from Washington University. We've been doing a lot of cosmic ray astrophysics ever since. Professor Israel loves getting tough questions from students and making physics accessible to non-science majors. I remember one student looking through the telescope at Saturn and saying, wow, it's just like the pictures. And this student was really excited to know that with her own eyes, she was seeing this thing that she had only seen pictures of before. Marty is, I think, the essence of a great faculty member. He is an absolutely outstanding scholar. He just published a paper in one of the major journals, a general scientific journal. That's an incredible accomplishment. Many scientists will never publish at that high a level. We had to use almost 20 years of data in order to find 15 events of Iron 60, but it was quite interesting and exciting and came out at about the same time that a paper in Nature was published, and it all was coming together to show that there had been a supernova not terribly far away about two million years ago. More than anything else, and particularly one of the reasons why I think he's deserving of the Dean's Medal, is his service. He has been Dean of Arts and Sciences. That's, as I'm coming to know, is a, a really challenging position. It requires understanding the humanities and the social sciences and the natural sciences. And he did this with a deep commitment to the undergraduates, commitments to our graduate students, and a deep commitment to the faculty as well. Professor Israel went back to his teaching and research after serving for 10 years in the university's administration. They were gracious enough to welcome me back, and it took having good colleagues in Joe Klarman and Bob Binns, and having good technical support and good engineers and technicians, because 10 years ago, we would have joked at saying, you can have pulsite analyzers on every one of a hundred different photomultiplier tubes, oh, come on, we couldn't possibly fly that much on one balloon. Well, now you can. <laughs> what I really rely on Marty for is his sense of what's right, what is appropriate for the university to do, and that sense of decency, that sense of integrity is really, really important. So he's the whole package. I selected Marty Israel for the Dean's Medal to really signify how important he has been for his dedication to teaching, to scholarship, and to Washington University.